Step down from an elevated surface is about eight inches here. So anything anywhere six to 12 inches is a pretty a good standardized step down. Um, this is about eight inches. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, the theme of this is we're trying to work the quad. Okay, now the way that we work the quad more during a step down is keeping your trunk very vertical. So very tall, we're away from our knee. Imagine when you go down stairs, it happens so quickly, but when you go down stairs, you're very vertical, right? You, you always step down tall. Unless you're having knee pain, unless you knew how to do this, you never really do step downs or stairs where you're leaning like that, right? So we're gonna try to keep that same body position as we're doing the step down. So what you're gonna do is, again, get, get your foot at the very edge of the, the surface, but my whole, my whole leg is still on there, okay? Now from this position, Keep a nice tall chest. You can have your hands um, kind of crossed around your chest. I think that's the most comfortable um, from this position, or you can have your hands a little bit outside so you can look at your foot for this exercise. Standing nice and tall, toes are up on the non-working leg. You're gonna think about dropping yourself down towards the ground, staying very tall, right before your heel comes off on the working leg, pause come back up you don't have to lock it out if you don't want to you can squeeze if you want to totally fine but then slowly unlock step forward step down as if you were stepping down actual stairs pause come back up again you're going you're you don't necessarily have to touch the ground because if it's so high up you're probably not gonna be able to touch the ground but you want to think about like if you're going to kiss the ground with your heel on the floating leg okay so that keeps you a lot more upright so again you're going down Pausing, one, two, and coming up, right? So a few things that we're looking for is, imagine you had a belt line, a belt buckle. We don't wanna reach for the ground. So what that means is, I don't want you reaching, okay? Because if, if I start reaching, I start side bending, okay? So don't reach for the ground, lower yourself through the working leg. So that goes off of not having to touch the ground because if you try to touch the ground, you're gonna try to reach for it. And that's what we don't want because then your hips start rotating and things like that. So again, you're nice and tall. Really, really lean forward, pause and come back up. Okay, so from the, from the side, what that looks like is, again, I'm at the very front edge. I'm nice and tall, I can have my hands here. Drop down, I'm still very vertical right before my heel comes off pause come back up straight down straight forward as if i am going down some stairs pause come back up okay so that would be our part one let's say for some reason you just have a very difficult time doing that without assistance and you feel like hey I feel like I can do this, but I just need some support. Then just use upper upper hand support. So, you know, you can use a wall, a stick, anything stable. I'm just gonna show you with a stick, but you can hold on to a wall, hold on to a squat rack, whatever you wanna do, right? So, I would probably go opposite leg, opposite arm. And again, this is if you wanna just regress it and just try it with the assistance, okay? So what that would look like is, again, we're very tall. Hover, pause, one, two, and come up. I think it's a little easier if you go down, you kind of offset with the pole or whatever surface. Pause, one, two, and come up, okay? So if you're gonna use assistance, I also don't want you hinging too much, okay? So you're still staying nice and tall. Coming down, pause, one, two, and come up. So that I would use the assistance if you feel like you're just having too much of a balance issue, okay? But try to do it without support, but then you use the support if you need it, okay?